Imagine what would happen if China were to seize Taiwan right now, and no one intervenes. What awaits Taiwan, its citizens, China, and the whole world after such an event? According to Chinese legislation, Taiwan is considered a Chinese territory that temporarily does not belong to them due to rebellion, and they recognize Taiwan merely as a province of China, not an independent state. Only 13 countries recognize Taiwan's independence, and most of them are island nations. The situation around Taiwan is very tense, further aggravated by the arrival of Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. China termed this act a blatant disrespect and also began its military exercises near the Taiwanese border. From a military perspective, reclaiming Taiwan will not be straightforward for China, especially if the U.S. supports Taiwan. Everyone is well aware of China's military strength. China has a military budget of $293 billion, while the U.S. stands at $801 billion and Taiwan at just $10 billion. Yet, due to geographical features, storming the island of Taiwan would prove to be a non-trivial operation with complex landing maneuvers. Taiwan's army is substantial, with a significant reserve and advanced weaponry. The terrain and climate would also favor defense, and a landing can only be carried out on a small part of the coast. However, we will not delve into the military aspect in detail. Instead, we will discuss what will change if China indeed manages to reclaim Taiwan. After reclaiming Taiwan, censorship would be imposed on the island, including blocking services like YouTube, and there would be several restrictions on other internet platforms. Elections would be abolished, as they would now coincide with the single day of Chinese elections. Moreover, a Chinese military base would be established in Taiwan, with a significant portion of Chinese troops deployed there to quell potential uprisings, protests, and other issues. Apart from helping China control the situation on the island, this would also give them an advantage in the South China Sea, where numerous trade routes pass. Over their long separation, the people of Taiwan have developed their own identity, becoming less similar to the Chinese in both political and spiritual aspects. This might cause depression among many Taiwanese citizens and could also trigger massive emigration of native inhabitants. This sentiment is further strengthened by the fact that the majority of the island's inhabitants are highly negative towards communists. The reclaiming of Taiwan will exacerbate international tensions, especially with the United States and its allies. Countries like Japan and South Korea will likely respond strongly due to their proximity to China and their alignment with the U.S. To ensure their safety and to counter potential aggression, these nations might accelerate militarization and conduct extensive military exercises. It's important to note that in 1955, a mutual defense treaty was signed between China and the U.S., which implies the defense of Taiwan by U.S. forces. However, it remains unclear whether the U.S. will uphold this agreement and assist the separatists. On one hand, failing to assist Taiwan would demonstrate the U.S.'s weakness against China and suggest that the U.S. doesn't keep its promises. On the other hand, it might indicate that the U.S. is open to dialogue and cooperation with China, and if no sanctions follow, relations between the two nations could significantly improve. The island's primary value lies in the semiconductor production of the company TSMC, which manufactures more than 50% of the world's semiconductors and wields significant influence. Of the top 10 semiconductor firms, four are located in Taiwan. Semiconductors are essential for almost all modern electronics, vehicles, and industrial capacities. A shortage of semiconductors could lead to a global electronics deficit. If China decides to withhold its supply and redirect all semiconductors for its own needs, it could dominate the electronics manufacturing sector and decimate competitors, including Japanese companies. In such a scenario, the global economy might collapse, affecting even the world's most developed nations. If conflict occurs in Taiwan, major factories could be destroyed, leading to a semiconductor problem for China as well, albeit temporarily. Moreover, Chinese authorities could leverage their position to influence the global market and dictate terms to the world. Interesting fact, the current flag of Taiwan used to be the flag of the People's Republic of China. Support the OK World Project and share it with your friends on social media. Also, don't forget to check out our previous videos.